Hey guys, um, <clears throat> I'm going to do an engineering uh, tutorial on how to drill out uh, a 4mm steel screw from an aluminium crankcase. It's quite tricky. Um, if you're not an engineer, it's probably going to be the, um, the most difficult engineering challenge that you'll undertake. Uh, having said that, you can do it. You just need to know how and um, what tools are uh, required. Uh, so it's not going to be um, a three-minute video because there's a lot of things to to think about when you're dealing with um, a small screw. Uh, if you want a three-minute video, uh, there's absolutely loads on YouTube and um, most of the time you spent looking at a drill drilling. Um, I can tell you how, how it's done. Uh, you drill a hole in the screw head and um, you take um, a, a torque, a star tool, and that's slightly bigger than the, than the hole that you've drilled, and you whack it in, and you stick a T-bar on, and you twist it, and hopefully the screw uh, comes out, and if it does, then that's fantastic, okay? Um, I obviously tried that, and, um, yeah, you know, <laughs> The torque actually uh, twisted. Let me show you it. Okay. And uh, you can see these were meant to be straight. It's now fluted. The whole thing just twisted. Um, these are silver line. Um, they were more expensive than the, the stuff next to it. Now, I saw them, I thought, oh yeah, that's nice to have a, a lot of different sizes and different shapes and yeah, you know, you, you just need something and you've got it. Of course, when you come to use it, they're bloody rubbish, rubbish. And uh, at these small sizes, they've got no intrinsic strength. The, the big, uh, big sizes, they've got plenty of meat on them, they've, they've got strength. Anything small like this, it's got to be hardened and strong to actually curb. And obviously these just, just twisted. And so, um, yeah, you know, I'm going to drill out um, rather than go and buy, uh, buy some more talks. I'm going to drill out. Um, the, ones that were, the project is for this AM6. I, I did an earlier video um, explaining how you can... Um, drill the holes, clearance holes, in the back plate so you can get the crankcase studs out. Then you can split the engine while leaving the generator back plate in place. And that means that you can then get it flat onto a pedestal drill and that's, yeah, for, for, for doing this job you really want it on a pedestal drill. So, um, so yeah, we've got it out. The, 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 the screws here, you can see here, and uh, the other one here, um, they're bloody useless um, and they're known to cause lots of problems amongst the AM6 uh, community. Um, the Allen screw head is two and a half milli across the flats. It's just too small. Uh, the minimum should be three millimeter across the flats. That, that half a millimeter is enormous, the amount of extra metal you've got and um, yeah, so if we can get them out uh, without going up to 5 milli, um, then they want to be replaced with um, a hard screw with an Allen key head that's 3 millimeter across the flats. And then that's going to be fine. You can get them in, get take them out. It's going to be no problem. Uh, 2.5 millimeter, uh, the slightest mistolerance on your tool and they'll just spin you know they're bloody useless so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get them out the great um, savior of these at least is that they have got in the center they've got a, um, a center hole and a center hole is means it's it's chamfered down to guide a drill perfectly central and we want that because the we're going to drill the core of the screw 
and the core of the 4 mm screw is 3 mm. So there's no margin for error. It's steel in aluminium. And if the drill runs off and catches, if, if it just catches the aluminium, straight away it will dig into the aluminium and the drill will bend and just simply run off into the aluminium. Um, this, 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 it's not going to want to drill through steel when aluminium is offering a beautiful soft path. It's going to say, no thanks, I'm going down there. And, um, and that is what happens. Um, so getting, getting a new good quality drill or you know, getting a couple of each so you've got one that can go in first and you can just tickle the last one out, the last bit out, that's a good idea. Also, I would consider for life buying a centre drill. And these are um, fantastic. If you can get one with, 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 which you've got a centre drill on both sides, then um, you, know, you can keep one absolutely fresh, you know. And um, these, are, uh, these will be guaranteed, these should be guaranteed to be absolutely perfect each cutting face. And I'll show you, um, so you can understand why. Let's just zoom in. Okay, so you can see here, there's two there. And um, these won't bend at all. They won't bend. They'll, they'll go wherever uh, you put them. And if there's already a center uh, in place, these will follow the center. And uh, we can see that, that, that this one is the one to go for. It's extended. And um, this one has been ground down. Okay, professionally ground down. And it's short and stubby. We want the long one. Because we want to get as far as we can with this into the into the screw. All right. So um, what you can do is you can pop that on the um, the pedestal uh, bench, and um, as you bring it down, the, the the crankcase will just align itself you know make sure that it can can smooth you may have a dowel make sure that that dowel is out of the way or in a slot in the bench and you you know it can find its center that's that's in what it's got to be flat so you can bring it down it'll follow the center it'll self align and that's it and then you can go down put the drill on uh, maximum speed because yeah there's hardly any cutting speed at this tiny tiny diameter um, so maximum speed um, is going to help and obviously a bit of lubrication um, is going to help a lot it'll keep your the, the, the tool uh, sharp it'll, it'll cut better um, but anyway there we are we're all set up and um, I'm gonna do the do it so you can you can um, follow the project through all right so we'll I'll be back in a tick okay so that's that's that one done, and that's perfectly central. Is that one? Uh, the other one is slightly not, and um, you can just see it's just slightly not central by uh, maybe a tenth of a millimeter. It may be the head uh, that's slightly out, and that may be perfectly central to the. Um, to the screw um, we don't we don't know for certain that the center was was, was perfect but uh, we're going to find out um, we're going to press ahead but uh, that's that's with the centers drilled okay so um, yeah we'll continue okay guys success so we went down with the 2.5 and the next stage is because it's now relieved the pressure in the metal um, what you can do is you take um, a chisel a small chisel and whack it across the center and then ideally you would take a little dremel 
and uh, grind a small slot in and put a screwdriver in and get, get some weight on and yeah turn and um, as has happened uh, many times once the uh, once the pressure has been relieved um, it just turned easily without any even with that tiny slot without a great deal of pressure um, yeah it just it just turns so um, and out it's and out it's coming without any um, without any hassle at all. A minor caught the you'll end up catching the uh, you can see you can catch the uh, the alloy uh, a touch. It's only uh, it's it's not functional um, using a little Dremel um, disc and. Um, And yeah, so, um, and it just, out it comes perfectly. So, uh, just giving it a little turn. And when you think that this screw was completely tight enough to, um, enough to destroy the damned torque and, um, what I did, and what I would recommend, is that you put the drill bit right in, and you should uh, you should know um, the depth of the screw by the thickness of the of of, of the plate, and um, I I took it down to just uh, twelve millimeters. Now it's got the head as well so it probably went down 11 okay and um, it's great because as you can see it hasn't come out of the sides and uh, and so that's that's great um, you can see here uh, oh yeah And that's what we want. We didn't want it coming out. And um, by taking out the central core, it's relieved the pressure from the steel, and um, and it's you know out it comes. So absolutely perfect. No need for retapping. There's no damage to the thread whatsoever. And um, yeah, we'll have that's that's the first one. We can presume that the the second one is going to go just as well. And um, with us being at two point five milli, the the drill, even if it's slightly off center, um, we're not expecting any um, any problems. So uh, I'll be back in a tick, and uh, hopefully um, the next one will be out as well. And that's that's the total success. Right, success again with the second one, and yeah, and I extended the drill to 13 millimeters out of the chuck, and you can just see it's just pushing it and perfectly central, perfectly central. Yeah, so um, yeah total success and um, just shows that by just being careful and taking it steady um, yeah no damage at all didn't arrive anything and um, screws come out threads completely undamaged and we can pop in um, some replace replacement hardened uh, screws with a three millimeter allen key uh, head so yeah, so remember that tip that to put the two and a half milli drill right up so that you've only got a time, then that will help prevent it from, from walking. If it's out a long way, you know, then it's more likely to, to walk. So just that stub will allow you to penetrate and, um, but like getting that initial center with the, uh, with the center drill you know that pays dividends because you can see how how close we are but uh, 
Yeah. Great, uh, great success. Um, always a bit of a sweat on when it's such a tiny, uh, tiny screw. But it just shows, and you can do it. You can do that, you know, you can do that. If you just take it steady, um, that's how you do it. All right. Good luck with your projects, guys. Bye now.